Well, turning to the day by day, number of lawmakers calling on President Biden to step down had obviously grown in recent weeks. The first North Texas Democrat congressman to ask him to pass the torch was also the first member of the Congressional Black Caucus to reach that decision. Fox News' Amelia Jones has more from Congressman Mark Vesey and other Texas lawmakers. Amelia. Blake, many Democrats calling President Joe Biden's decision to drop out of the presidential race a selfless act. Meanwhile, Republicans are urging him to resign. Along with the rest of the world, Texas lawmakers are reacting to the news of President Joe Biden's decision to drop out of the 2024 presidential race. Texas Democrats thanked the president for his contributions in office and his decades of service. And many are already behind Vice President Kamala Harris and her campaign, including North Texas Congressman Mark VC. She is the most qualified. She, again, has served ab ably under the president for the last uh, four years. Uh, and she brings impeccable credentials uh, for being the nominee uh, for the Democratic Party. Earlier this month, the vice president spoke in Dallas at the Alpha Kappa Alpha convention. Harris has received endorsements from U.S. Representative Jasmine Crockett, U.S. Senate nominee Colin Allred, and the Congressional Black Caucus. VC was the first member of the Congressional Black Caucus to call on President Biden to drop out of the race. I think that you're going to see a energized and an amazing uh, candidate in Kamala Harris versus the sort of confused and meandering uh, candidate that you saw in Trump at the Republican convention. Texas Republicans, on the other hand, wasted no time in attacking her. State party leaders wrote Harris's quote, just as unfit to serve America as the absent-minded nominee she seeks to replace. Texas Governor Greg Abbott calls for President Biden to resign, posting on X, quote, if Biden is unfit to run for the presidency, he is unfit to run the presidency. The Democratic National Convention is next month in Chicago. VC believes the party will rally behind Harris. The timing is perfect, uh, and I think that the energy that she's going to bring uh, is going to really uh, excite not just Democrats, but independents and, and probably even a few Republicans uh, as we move into November. Some Dex Texas Democrats are stopping short from endorsing Vice President Harris. Congressman Lloyd Doggett of Austin ad admits that Harris will probably be the Democratic nominee, but he's also calling for an open process to choose the best candidate. Blake, back to you. All right, Amelia, thanks.